Good morning everyone, happy Thursday. It's uh, bright, sunshiny outside this morning. It looks like another lovely day. And I have pain management this morning and then I have to call the surgery clinic at the VA to figure out what's going on with the repair of the port, as I'm going to call it. Morning meds. So yeah, I've got that to look forward to today, then some homework, and uh, just kind of getting my ducks in a row for hospital visits, and just kind of moving forward from there. It is what it is. Uh, my pain management appointment is in about an hour, so I have to start moseying that direction because it's rush hour traffic still, well, tail end of rush hour traffic here in the national capital region. So it might take me a couple of minutes to get there, so... In the meantime, I'm gonna hit the sheets real fast, get a couple of drinks, and then mosey on into my doctor's appointment. So I'm just finishing up at the doctor's office for pain management. Have a call into the surgery center at the VA, so hopefully they'll give me an answer back here shortly. And I uh, need to go back to the house to make sure I didn't lose my glucometer at the sheets. So that'll be the next two stops is home and then the sheets because my glucometer is no longer in my bag. So shit and my sugar's dropping and I can't check to see if the dex comes right or wrong because I don't have a glucometer on me. Christ Murphy's fucking law is applying today. Jesus, such is life. And the quest for my glucometer is a success it's right here found it and they kept it in the back and so I went home real fast checked it wasn't there came back here to the sheets and they had it so good to go blood sugar is actually doing pretty good but I think it's because I spiked it with a Red Bull so I have grabbed some more uh, snacks to eat just in case and I'm gonna go from there and since I'm across the street from my pharmacy I'm gonna drop off my prescriptions and then go figure out what I want to do with the rest of the day so still on hold with the uh, surgical center I'm not sure when they're going to call me back, but if I don't hear from them by 3 p.m., I'm going to call them back. It's just one moment at a time, as they say. Back at the casa after uh, doctors running around looking for a glucometer, prescriptions getting filled and picked up, and everything else feels good to be home. I did go to my local neighborhood coffee shop called Common Grounds. I had lunch there and did a little bit of homework, posted it out of the blog, and just kind of relaxed for an hour or two until my prescriptions were ready. And now I'm back home. Uh, so I'm gonna go get into comfier clothes for relaxation, and then I'm gonna relax for a little bit, and then later tonight I have an appointment at the massage uh, place down the street to uh, get an hour of massage, because I haven't had one of those in a while, and kind of need one to de-stress a little bit. Relaxation on the couch this afternoon has been amazing. Uh, so far, still no phone call from the surgical center, so I'll have to call them tomorrow morning to find out what's going on, and if I absolutely have to, I will drive there and be there in person. Um, it is what it is. Dealing with the VA is, it's a headache in and of itself, and having to constantly be your own advocate, it's tiresome because they're supposed to be helping veterans, not veterans trying to get the help that they need or fighting for it, shall I say. But such is life. So with that, I have a massage scheduled for eight o'clock. It's about 7.30 now, so I'm gonna get the portable oxygen going and mosey on over to the massage uh, spa get a massage and then hit the Walmart real fast for a couple of things I need for the house and mosey on back home. That massage was much needed. Oh, I feel good. Uh, prior to going into the uh, massage spa, I ran into an old co-worker from my old office and caught up for a little bit. It was great to catch up and uh, I'm glad everything's going well in their life and that it's just such a beautiful day that we all have enjoyed it so much. The weather is cooperating quite a bit. Uh, that massage was so good that uh, I've already scheduled the next one. 
so that's gonna come in a couple of days. So I'm looking forward to that. But now, time to hit the Walmart real fast and then head on home. It is such a beautiful night outside tonight that I could not pass up sitting on my balcony, just staring up at the sky. Uh, currently, <laughs> the humidity is like 20% maybe 30% tops and it's uh, 72 degrees outside so it's beautiful we don't get that very often in summer down here in Virginia it's usually deliciously hot temperatures or humidity or both uh, it has been a long day but a relaxing evening to say the least a massage just relaxing at home on the couch after uh, doing some homework and getting the vlog edited and posted uh, after going to doctors has been a huge plus and I am just real chill right now uh, Compliments of the massage for sure uh, This weekend I have plans with some friends. We're gonna actually have a Memorial Day party on Sunday and uh, I'm Looking forward to that So I'm, I'm really excited to celebrate with everyone and just enjoy the weekend and hang out with friends and then hopefully tomorrow I have an answer from the surgical clinic of what they want me to do when they want me to come in and get the evaluation done and get the port replaced. So it is what it is, as they say. But uh, I believe there's a saying called carpe diem, which means seize the day. So one day at a time and that's all we can do. But since I am going to enjoy this lovely evening, I'm going to end the vlog here by saying, as always, thank you for watching, have a great night, and I will see you all tomorrow.